a few of your trick psychological questions. I have nothing to hide. Nothing to hide? Hello, Webby. <laughs> What's in all your food? I'm telling you. I told you, come here, beat me up. Well, you can clean up your own mess, because I'm fed up being made to scrape go. Scapegoat, you moron. Scapegoat. <laughs> You don't like wearing dresses. How can anybody possibly be a doctor and a human being? <laughs> Dr. Sweet certainly can't. Medical disorder in rude health this Friday at 10 on 4. And in very rude health is the current champion in the art of counting down. Seven times a winner and about to make her last appearance for now, whatever today's outcome. Hi, Grandad. Sometimes life, well, sometimes life. Sometimes life really bites the big one. Yes, a pig. A pig? It's a pig! Told you, especially when you've lost your glasses. Sophia! What are you doing in the bathroom? This is the kitchen. I'm poaching an egg in the toilet. And we all know what goes well with eggs, don't we? You get in the kitchen and eat your slop before I spank that little pink fanny. All right, I'm going, I'm going. Confused? So are they. Porky Problems for the Golden Girls, Friday at 9 on 4. This is Channel 4, and this is Countdown. Yeah, thank you, one and all. Thank you for that welcome. It's not, I'm sure, for me, it's not even for the programme, really, but it must be for our marvellous champion, who's had a terrific run. I'm sure you've all relished and revelled in her marvellous performances over the last few days. She's back here for the eighth time, which is, of course, the last time. So will you hail, please, our wonderful champion, Jenny Haldane. It is, Jenny. We've had uh, one or two long-running champions, but uh, your consistency of your scores is uh, marvellous. Just to remind you, her highest was 70 on her very first day, and then she's always been in the 50s, apart from one day when she got a 45, and uh, yesterday when she got a 62. So it's marvellous, and we wish you all the very best of luck, of course, on your you. last occasion for the time being with us. It is great to have such a, a worthy contestant. And if anything, apart from the first day when you got 70, you've actually got better, haven't you, as uh, your, your cunningness with the numbers game and your quickness with the conundrum have been fantastic. Yes, I think I've got a little bit more relaxed about it. Yes, you really are a reluctant hero because you can't really believe you've done so well. No, I can't, actually. Mm. It's like a dream. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, just hold the dream for uh, the next uh, 25 minutes and we'll see what happens. And now, let us welcome a rather daunting task for Mr Roger Wales. Here he is. Roger Wales from Skipton in North Yorkshire. Skipton, the gateway to the Dales, it calls himself. He's married with two young children and he's a company director. He's keen on golf, snooker and crosswords and he plays dominoes for his local pub. Two other interesting facts about Roger are that he's a freeman of the city of York and I've just found out now, just in the pre-programmed chat, that he actually went to my old school. Although, of course, as you can see, he's considerably younger than me, so I didn't know him at school. Um, and I must admit, I never knew that uh, the school we went to was a school of Wales, but uh, there we go. Well, York. welcome. That, what, what house were you in? Yeah. Shoot. Oh, I was in Shoot. Shoot house. Oh, yeah. Shoot. You were Who was your housemaster? Uh, William Brocklebank. Ah, Mr. Dean was my housemaster. Mm. Well, he was still there when I was there. I think he's, I think he's in with a good chance, this fellow. What do you think?